We are in this uh, sort of final three weeks here at TBS, and uh, our last show uh, will be on June 24th. And as I've said, I'll be leaving the nightly format that I've been doing for the last 28 years. Um, I am filled with gratitude. Uh, TBS has been absolutely fantastic to us. They've let us experiment, have fun, do whatever we want. It's been a great uh, 11 years. So during these last couple of weeks, we want to salute our time here by having fun guests, surprises, and um, even starting next week, for the last two weeks, live audiences here at the Largo. That's going to be great. Getting yeah, some... they'll, they'll cover up the sound of the sirens. <laughs> yeah, I don't Maybe. know. <laughs> By the way, this theater, the walls in this theater are made of tissue. So, and we're right here on La Cienega Boulevard. Yep. So if there's a siren six miles away, we yeah. hear it while we're taping in this theater. We hear it, yeah. Yeah. It looks like someone found out our show was wrapping up and they, uh, they called an EMT. That's right. And I'm a volunteer fireman, so I'm, you know, I, half the time I have to get out of here when I hear it. <laughs> You're a volunteer fireman? Not officially, but okay, I mean, if, yeah. if you show up with the gear, they let you, you know, hold the hose. <laughs> so you basically have an axe and a, and a hose, and they right. made you a vo great. Yeah, that's, that and makes a hat feel that better. I got at Disneyland. <laughs> anyway, uh, as you can imagine, we're going to be looking back at some of our favorite things we did here during the TBS era. And uh, tonight, I wanted to show you uh, the time that... Uh, me and my trusty assistant, Sonam Obsessian, met with HR to work out our issue. Sona and I, uh, we've long had famously a rather contentious relationship. So we got a real person from HR and talked to them. And this was a, um, a remote we shot that, uh, well, I think it bears looking at once more. Blair, you are from HR. I am. Here at Turner. I am. That's terrific. So tell me what's going on with you guys. I have a lot of issues. He tells people that I floated to this country in a basket and that <laughs> he found me in a bush and that I learned how to speak English by watching reruns of Dynasty. I said that once to a okay. Rolling Stone reporter. Yes. Okay. And it got printed in Rolling Stone magazine. And how did that make you feel? It didn't make me feel good. Yeah. He has uh, knocked food out of my hand on more than one occasion. Uh, she'll be having a cookie and be like, oh my God, these cookies in the green room are so good. And she'll be holding it up just perfect, like perfect height mm -hmm. like this. And I'll go and knock the cookie. And sometimes it really goes flying. And if there are people around, they all laugh. Because mm. they have to, because I'm the boss. <laughs> It's hot in here. Like, if we're out at a store or something running an errand, he'll tell the workers, you better watch out for her, because she steals. <laughs> and that must, that must really hurt your feelings. We went to this store mm. to shop for glasses for me. And you were looking around at all the cases on your own. <laughs> I said, keep an eye out for this one. Mm. She's got sticky fingers. Mm. <laughs> but do you understand how that might make her feel? Like a criminal. Exactly. Do you mind if I say a few things yes, now? Yes, yes, please go ahead. Thank you. If, is it my turn? Yes. <laughs> um, you routinely call me a dick, a monster. Uh, you say mm -hmm. that uh, I'm Irish, so all I do is eat potatoes. There's a thing she does a lot, which is she says, I'll ask her something on the phone, and I'll say, can you do that? And she'll say, yes. And she hangs up, and then it goes right out of her head. Hmm. And that happens a lot. I forget a lot. So now, how do we how do we resolve that? Maybe less edibles at night. Okay. Uh, what well, we do some... outside of the workplace. Thank you. Shouldn't matter. She what happens some, inside the workplace? She chomps some like Scooby snacks. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else. What if outside the uh, office behavior affects inside the office behavior? Well, that's a different story. Yeah, and that's my story. <laughs> uh, because I think sometimes you are so whacked out on your wacky tobacco. Uh, your chewy galooies, as I think the kids call them, your hemanahaminas, uh, your jub jubs and gelatos, your red we bennies. Get, I think. I think that there is a mental block I have about helping him, because. Um, Does he say please wait, and wait, thank you? Wait, wait, wait! This was huge, and you jumped in. <laughs> You jumped in. I apologize. She I apologize. has a mental block okay. against I helping me. She's my assistant. <laughs> you have a 
mental block against assisting me. Well, let's understand why. Let's understand why. I think uh, some positive reinforcement okay. would be nice. And also, it'd be great if he stopped being so passive aggressive all the time. I'm not passive aggressive. <laughs> These are slanders. These are libels. I am not a passive aggressive man. I am but a man. He calls okay. safe space. He goes into character when he doesn't want to address reality sometimes. This is not true. <laughs> I think I'm always comfortable in any space. Do you, he does too many bits. Do you see the, the bits that he, this never stops. It never, but you, the bits are never ending. You do work for a comedian, an artist. Not any comedian, right, a an comedian. Artist. Right. Com One of the great comedians. Correct. Oh my God. <laughs> you work for a comedian? How many comedians right now does TBS have? Oh, right. A few. The impractical jokers. <laughs> Can we talk about his neediness, too? Yes. Maybe before we get to that, how needy he needs. Well, it's always the impractical jokers. Those wags from Staten Island. They get all the glory. Mm. I'm sorry, fellas. I didn't mean to go after you. I knew you all grew up on a landfill. You're doing the best you can. I hope they have some good tricks that mm. they can play mm. we'll see. on that orphanage. Yeah. We'll see. Go in there and tell those kids that we found a father for them. <laughs> now tell them there's no father! <laughs> Impractical jokers. Sometimes he'll come up and he'll be like, hey, stupid called, and it says it's you. <laughs> you, get <it? laughs> you get it? If I just said you were stupid, I agree. That's not funny and that's abusive. Mm. But if I tell you that you got a phone call, and you're like, oh, really? And I go, yeah, a stupid sign line one. <laughs> and he says that he's you, which meaning by implication, yeah, thank you. Thank he's you. stupid. <laughs> oh, man, that's a home run. That's a home run. That is like, you ever seen the movie The Natural when, yeah. when Robert Redford hits that ball and it hits, it not only goes out of the park, it hits the lights at night and they explode. And I'm just rounding the bases in slow motion. I'd just be slowly going around the bases and showering down sparks. But do you know that most people do have feelings? No idea. <laughs> I believe Sona has feelings. I have feelings. What? I do, I have feelings. Why didn't we talk about this before? Well, I tell you all the time. I, I tell you to stop, you know, telling people I steal babies from the marketplace. You've people never I been tempted babies. to steal a baby at the marketplace? I think the stealing thing keeps coming up here. Why does this stick to you, this stealing thing? I mean, I used to steal. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You used to steal. What did you... Wow. I was totally kidding around. So this is a breakthrough. Yeah, I stole a little sticker book from Sanrio years okay. ago. I stole Skittles from Blockbuster. I stole a stick of gum once from the uh, market. I stole a bracelet from Express. I stole another bracelet from Express. Okay. And someone told me to return it, and I did. And then I, uh, I stole a headband from Urban Outfitters mm -hmm. once. I stole a hat. Okay. And this this okay. list doesn't end. So there's end. some validity this here. Is a, this is a crime spree that okay. the Hillside Strangler would envy. So here we are at uh, Sona's desk. Nothing sets a t the tone like right. this sign okay. right here. Yeah. I mean, people see this sure. when they come in. Sure. Mm -hmm. I've done so much for Sona, and sure. all I ask in return is yeah. little things like this. Hey, Conan. Oh, hey, Sona, what's going on? I'm just enjoying some cookies. Oh, where'd you get them? I got them from the green room. Oh, they look absolutely delicious. <laughs> That's all That's I'm all asking for asking. in return. That gives me so much joy. Look. Yeah, still eat it. The cookie's Go still up on the floor. I mean, I'm glad that you got joy. It's, it, it was on the, you get that? We're pals, we are pals, Good. and this works for us. Good. It's sick, it's wrong, very little's accomplished. Very, very little, yeah. It's insanity and it yeah. should be stopped. It's your job to stop it. Mm but you won't stop it. Would, would, would you like me to fire you? I think we should both be fired. <laughs> well, this is great. This you happy now? You did this. I didn't do it, you did it. I'm gonna get a job at a Burger King and you're gonna be my assistant. I crush it at Burger King. Our, uh, our thoughts, by the way, are with Sona right now because she is expecting twins. Can you believe it? She's gonna, and, and uh, any week now, she is gonna be the mom to, uh, to two babies. To two babies. Yes. Not just one big one. <laughs> <laughs> two babies. We're really thrilled for her. We love you, Sona. And uh, 
We can't wait to have you back in our lives. We love you, Sona. That's right. Andy loves you.